How far would you go just to ruin someone's reputation? Hello, my sexy, sexy coffee beans, and we're here on a special, special day. We get more crap content from me that is so off the cuff that you want to scream. But other than that, there's a, th a different thing that makes me scream right now. So we're just gonna suffer together. This is a group suffer session, all right? Now we're gonna be looking at three videos. And that beautiful, beautiful face of Mr. Medium Rare. Just look at that. That is amazing. <clears throat> now, what brings us today? Well, what brings us is three videos. Two by Mr. Medium Rare and one by Mr. Blair Vines. And all these videos are on one subject. And it's on child grooming. That was it. I didn't want to look. I didn't want to cheat by looking at the at the title. I didn't want to cheat, even though this wouldn't be cheating. It's literally the fucking title, but whatever. Either way, we're just gonna be live reacting to this guy. I've already tried to record this four times, and every time it fucking failed due to one thing or another. One thing was one of them was just me being a retard. You get off, you're, get, you're in recovery, and then you see some bullshit that you just can't ignore. Mr. Medium Rare, I don't think he uh, is doing this out of any malintent. He's helping a friend out, but uh, uh, as we're just gonna get into this video and see, and just show you what boils my piss, what boils my veins, and throws it into the ether of Satan's asshole. Reynolds, and welcome back to Medium Rare, and today we are talking yet again about Onision and specifically we're talking about these Onision grooming accusations. Now I spoke about this back in January when this was last brought up. Ayala back in January. By the way I didn't look up that video and as far as I'm concerned it's even less point it's even less it's probably gonna be even less uh, useful considering that in this video uh, his only citation direct citation is a live stream and video citation is a few uh, DMs. Can't I can't remember what platform they're on, but a few conversations are only by. Oh, actually, no, not even conversations. It's just uh, Sarah saying things. Uh, so not really anything to go on here. It's just live stream, and I don't trust live streams as evidence. That's because everything's off the cuff. Uh, if Sarah makes a video, someone please, uh, someone please uh, inform me if she does, because I probably will miss it, and I will watch it, and hopefully there will actually be evidence, because we're going to see that in this whole thing. It's going to be a, a very, everything's just strange. Who is Billy's friend, who was Onision's ex. She brought out some accusations against Onision, claiming that he was grooming <coughs> Sarah, who was a young girl who was living with him that was friends with his wife Lanybot, who now goes by the name Kai. Now I do want to say that everything I speak about in this video is alleged. There is no 100% proof. It comes down to whether or not you believe what Sarah is saying. Personally, I By the way, that's a good thing. Now, he puts allegedly on this title, but the next one you're gonna see doesn't put allegedly, is this accusations. Which some people ask, argue is like the same thing, but allegedly has more of a soft Im implication. While accusations has a more he heavier ac a thing, you know, it already pushes the viewer's minds to that. I don't think it was trying to manipulate you guys to do, to go in there because, like, come on, it's Onision. You don't, you're not gonna doubt that he's doing this. An average audience member that is already knows what Onision is isn't going to doubt it. As soon as they hear that he's a sec like he sexually abused someone, sexually assaulted them, raped them, blah blah blah, the works, they're going to assume, yeah, he did it. You don't even know to pull up evidence for him to do it. 
but you don't need pull up evidence for most of this shit. Nope. No one should be believing this. No one should be believing any allegation without proper evidence. But yeah, here we are. I do believe what Sarah is saying. I don't think she has any real reason to lie. I've spoken to Sarah years ago in the past, and I thought she always seen. I do quite I do want to know. How many years ago was this? Was this before? <clears throat> Uh, she moved in with Onision. Uh, if you're wondering, she moved in with them, I think, at the age of 16. They started talking at 13. Started talking to her sexually at 14. But sexual conversations does not mean anything. It could, uh, could have gone nowhere, but, you know, we're gonna discover more as we go along. This is gonna be a long-ass video. I hope your assholes are ready. Seemed very honest. I thought she seemed like a nice girl so I believe Sarah personally and there were things that were shown in clips that were brought up back in January that do insinuate that this could have happened at some point note the word insinuate and we don't have any reason to go off of Sarah's word other than the fact that as far as I know she probably appeared a few Onision videos and she's definitely 100% been in Onision's live streams well and Anision appeared in her live streams. Don't know if she's ever been on a live stream that Anision had, you know, directly did. <clears throat> but still not to do nothing. Like uh, everything, Anision's just acting like typical Anision in the background. Uh, let's let's just keep going. Sorry, I'm a bit out of it. Having have done this a few times already and currently in recovery future now what has happened you may be asking well we're going to get to that in a second but finally i just want to again say there are a lot of youtubers who are refusing to talk about this people such as repsion and make an actor people who usually jump on the onision heat wagon i do believe that has to do with integrity I'm not saying you don't have integrity i'm saying like uh their moral compass says I can't go on this bandwagon without proper evidence because this is a serious allegation and this allegation should be taken to the police, not just be thrown onto Twitter and YouTube. It, it, should, have, it should have gone to the police. If they're going to find out uh, some reasons why now she can't go to the police, most likely. These people are refusing to touch this subject at this point because they do not believe there's any proof out there. Personally, I think it's important that we do get this out there because I think it is a very real issue. I think it's something that is very concerning. And I think it's also important to let people make their own minds up. Anyway. This is... I don't know why, but this is the part that made me feel like... He's not trying to do this for the wrong intent. It's just that he's dumb. You know, not in the insulting way, he's just like, he lacks information. He, he didn't think about this. Because, let's say, you know, this had gotten a million views, or a hundred thousand views, like, your standard Onision video, anti-Onision video, just like, at least, been at the minimum, a hundred thousand views. I don't know within, within what time frame. This video is not even a month old, so it could get up to a hundred thousand views. Either way, monetization is not important. Uh, the main, the main thing here is that <clears throat> you shouldn't have uh, that, done this. Cause like, just saying, if it got, if it got to a certain viewpoint, and it probably, it probably already did circulate pretty heavily. Considering like, uh, Blair White is actually a fairly large YouTuber. Didn't check her view count. I don't approve of this. The law should have gotten involved before. <laughs> Sarah made the big oopsie. <laughs> Before she made that big oopsie. That keeps making me laugh each time I think about it. <laughs> Ooh. And, and as we see, the evidence is very... is either flimsy or lack of... Anyway, I'm going to explain to you everything that's been going on. So first off, just for a little bit of a recap, back in January at the start of this year when Isla came out with those accusations, there was a lot of drama going on because... Just, you know, it probably would have been better for you. I don't, I can't remember if you actually listened to the video, but it probably be better for you if you just didn't explain the drama part and just explain all of the abuse part. Just skip that part. 
like because of that. Legit, Both it would Kai be better. and Onision were very upset. They'd done their own live streams in response to it. Kai did a live stream in which she tried to claim that the allegation that she had cuddled with Sarah was absolute nonsense. Meanwhile, there was footage that surfaced of Kai cuddling with Sarah in bed, so it seemed as though Kai was lying about that. Said that something has happened with her, or I did something with her, or I cuddled in bed with her. One thing you're gonna notice in this video, uh, in this video in particular, the one I'm making, is that I'll be defending Onision more than I defend uh, Laneybot. And that's mostly because, as far as Sarah says, Laneybot is the most is actually the biggest culprit in this and Lady Pot actually got caught in a lie like so we actually caught her in a lie this is the only one we caught her on where she actually cuddled uh, with uh, Sarah and okay cuddling could be more than one thing it could be just it could be sexual it could be friendly but most likely it is sexual between them considering uh, at the age of 14, Lady Bot was the one. Uh, according to Sarah, this is all what Sarah says. According to Sarah, Lady Bot was the one initiating sexual conversations and DMs. And so it could be a sexual cuddle, most likely, is considering that they lived together for a while. And if I remember correctly, uh, I think she said her and Kai fucked. Uh, don't quote me on that, probably not that wrong. I do know that. Sarah and Greg fuck, according to Sarah, at the age of 18, so that fuck is legal. According to her, Onision waited for the age of 18, so it's just a... Onision, it's creep, but not pedo. Don't know about uh, grooming just yet, but Ladybot is the one that's suspect in my eyes for grooming. That none of that has ever happened. Never. Bye. Onision also got on his own stream at Wait a minute. 2018. I just noticed that. 24th of <coughs> 2018. When's her birthday? <laughs> okay, I suppose I, I don't know Sarah's age. Because I can. No one talks about it. Even though age is very important for child grooming and potentially pedophilia. So. It's kind of important that I that people know know the age and know the timeline here, because uh, it's currently 2019 and the cuddle happened in 2018. Could be more cuddles, or that could have been the first time they cuddled. Like she could be 19 right now, and she was 18 when they started cuddling. It's sus. As I just it's a, yeah, it's kind of lie. He had some very choice words that were very, very concerning to me and a lot of other people. He essentially said that up until that point, there had been no romantic or sexual relationship with Sarah, but who knows what the future holds? And to me and a lot of people, that. Well, quick, my friend. Uh, you do this throughout the video. Why do you explain what the clip is? Like. You don't give a quick overview and then show it. You get you you legit just explain the clip. You quote him word for word, pretty much, and then you show it. That was very, very concerning. That was a red flag. I think that the the uh, Kai's ex and Kai's ex's friend thought that Kai was dating Sarah, so they wanted to like be jealous and weird and lash out, and they were wrong. Because, you know, I'm not talking about what happens in however much time. I don't know what the future holds, but we're not dating Sarah. A lot of people also pointed out to this clip that I'm about to show you, then they said that it showed the power that Onision <coughs> held over Sarah. And this clip was essentially Onision walking in on Sarah while Sarah was doing a live stream. And while Sarah was live streaming Billy, who was Onision and Kai's ex, she was in the live stream chat. And apparently Kai was crying about that. Kai didn't want Billy to be in the live stream chat. So Onision comes in and demands that Sarah blocks Billy from the stream, which Sarah then does. <laughs> He's here for you. Greg's here. Greg's here! Prepare for overexposure. Okay, so I am now here because Lainey's inside crying. And she's crying because Billy showed up. So I just wanted to ask that. For the record, I don't know who Billy is. Sarah did tweet 
uh, something about Kai and saying this is for Billy. <laughs> and I thought it was a meme. I legit thought it was just like some sort of meme. <laughs> cause like, it, I, it was just like kind of out of nowhere. Cause like, it was like, I imagined her screaming to the, to the sun, this is for Billy. Just on a cliff and staring at the sun and it's just Onision and she throws a, a fucking tampon or whatever. It says this is for Billy. That Billy not being here. Can you block Billy? Anyway, fast forward to what's been happening recently. Onision is. She did it without even thinking twice. YouTube, basically, just saying a lot of crap about mental illness and specifically BPD, which Sarah actually has, and also talking a lot of crap again about weed and people who smoke weed. Now he did do this back. Wait, in you're talking about the subject of? He's saying a lot of stuff about weed and. He has it right there. <laughs> he's gonna show it to us, of course. Like, he's not, it's not like he's not gonna show it to us. But why is he explaining, explaining it right here and not after? And it's just so the way he does this stuff is very weird. I know I'm making, I know I'm putting a lot of focus on him, and it's, I should. But it's like it's so weird to me that he does this. I watch so many commentaries and rants and they just don't do this. They will quickly say what the clip might be. It won't freaking direct quote it. Or legit, your only indication that you're about to see it is the fact that it goes on his screen right there. People smoking it being criminals and terrible people. But yes, he is doing it yet again. And it also turns out Sarah smokes weed. Anyway, in response to all this, Sarah had been posting a few tweets and also some posts on her Tumblr, so we're going to look at those now. So let me get this straight. People with BPD are crazy and should be avoided. People who smoke weed are losers and they taste nasty when kissing them. And I'm not supposed to get hurt by that. Uh, the weed part? The kissing part? Like the kissing part, huh? Understandable. But at the same time... This, this is definitely Onision, no doubt about it. Because, like, I remember hearing how he says he hates people that smoke weed. He thinks that degenerates, essentially, or whatever. He doesn't like that shit. His views on mental illness line up here. Like, this is definitely something that is believable. So, this is something I'd be willing to take, but it doesn't really mean anything. This is just Onision being Onision. Because this is just him not even changing his mind or anything. This is literally just how he, how he is. It was like, I remember, I remember hearing about this. I remember hearing about uh, his hatred for weed uh, around the same time I found, heard that, that it, I found out that he used to be in the army. And then, only this year I found out the reason why. <laughs> At least the alleged reason. It was because he wouldn't skin a rabbit. Leave me the F alone, Greg. I remember my first relationship like it was just last month. Oh wait, it was. And then the crazy gets turned up to 100 when Isla, who is Billy's friend, tweeted out this. Onision, Sarah, clown face. She then tweeted out this picture of Sarah holding a piece of paper that said clown card, and that's her FaceTiming with Sarah. Ah, and shit. she said, Res Yeah, there's no doubt that Onision fucks Sarah, but you can't, like, Okay, it doesn't matter if they're both consenting adults, because, like, to me it doesn't matter, like... As far as I know, according to Sarah, they fucked Eddie, they fucked when she was 18. So that didn't matter. God, my butt, I hit my fingers, pony. Like, seriously, you can hear that. Either way, she... We all know that they fucked. Sarah said it. But it's a, but the age was 18. We don't have any earlier age allegation that it was anywhere before. So that uh, statement don't matter. Seats with question mark. Sarah then tweeted out, "Imagine being scared of a 19-year-old girl again." Then she said, "All joking aside, I am actually very deeply confused and ashamed by everything that happened. Thankfully, I have the girls supporting me and talking me through things." And then finally, she tweeted out, "Lawyers with two question marks." But more importantly, I'm now going to get to the live stream that Sarah did last night. So Sarah did. I do wonder if the lawyers thing is uh, her, her wanting to be sarcastic, like lawyers. 
Or she's actually just uh, asking for lawyers. It just looks sad. <laughs> Feels like she asked for lawyers on Twitter instead of looking up for a lawyer. I'm pretty sure on face value they'll take your case. Lawyers don't tend to have a high morality complex here. They don't tend to care. So, continue. a live stream on Yuna last night where she took questions from the chat and also from people who wanted to guess with her and we got a lot more information about what has been going on here. So first she is asked whether her and Greg or Kai ever had a relationship sexually before she turned 18, to which Sarah says no. Okay, so they're asking if you and Kai and Greg ever had a relationship previous to being 18. You have to be more specific than that. Like, sexual never... relationship. No. Sarah then says that the last time she was in Washington was legal. So what's the problem? Four and a half weeks ago? When did you last visit? That's a good one. Like, four and a half weeks ago I was there. Sarah is then asked about a romantic relationship rather than a sexual one, and in response, Sarah says that she cuddled with Kai when she was 16. They're asking about a romantic relationship. Okay, so I did get it right. I did get it right. She moved in with them at the age of 16, and it had to do with the falling out they had. Sorry to cut them off, but I'm just direct quoting what's going to be in the uh, interview portion of this but I was right but that that information is nor here or there again this is more the gun is pointing more and more to Laney bot than Onision because like <clears throat> she's doing more uh, she's doing more to her that Onision is doing to her, at least in terms of selling things, like coming out of Sarah's mouth. Now, like, how long has that well, been a thing? Like, what age? I was just, I was like, oh, like this thing. I got a little tie when I was 16. Sarah is then asked whether it was. Sarah is then asked whether Kai or Greg was the one who initiated the relationship with her. Sarah says it was Greg. I will say, can you, this is just a word, word of advice, can you at least try to transition to it, like not just explaining everything, and just like overview it with like a joke. Like, hey guys, would you like to hear about when Lenny, uh, hear about what age Lenny bought cuddled with Sarah? Then sips tea. They're asking who initiated the relationship, like Kai or Greg. Greg. Sarah is then asked how long Greg had been trying to get her to sleep with him, and in response she says she does not know how to answer that question. They're saying how long was Suspect. Greg trying to get you to sleep with him? I just don't, I don't know how to answer that. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> very curious that she doesn't know how to answer that. We're just asking like, when, essentially like, when was the first time like, he initiated the question of like sex or when it was heavily implied that he was talking about sex because like it's you you could say I don't remember I would have taken I don't remember but I don't know how to add to that question is a bit weird this is kind of like a politician I think I just think it's a bit weird that when asked uh, the question this question Perfect. fuck I got a little high when I was 16. No, that's too far back. They're asking who initiated the relationship. Like, they're saying how, how far... long was Greg trying to get you to sleep with him? I just don't, I don't know how to answer that. I think, like, if I, if I was uh, saying, oh yeah, I was sexually groomed, uh, I would prompt, like, then, usually when, you think of a bad experience, like you just realize everything that happened is that just been happening to you for several years is bad. Uh, you will tend to forget it after a period of time, but when you first realize that, like, this shit is bad, you tend to remember all of the bad shit. 
right in that moment, and it stays in your head for a while. And I don't... According to him, it's just like, uh, this was a few months ago, but why did she let it die after she started it up and then come back with a live stream? Uh, putting more onto the table, which is virtually nothing, still. And then, after this video, she waits, essentially waits another week. It was just that says, last night, Sarah uh, just went fucking ape shit on Twitter and just started posting a few screenshots and making allegation out of allegation like a semi-automatic machine gun. She then asked if she was interested in Kai when she first started going around to their house, and she says, yes, she was. Were you interested in Kai when you started coming around? Yeah. Sarah is then asked, and probably one of the more important snippets that I'm about to show you, uh, mm -hmm. she's asked why now she is choosing to speak out, what has made her break her loyalty to him. Very and important. Says, because she is being accused of raping them, allegedly. She, apparently they're saying that she raped them. She also goes on later to say that uh, Onision is claiming that she blackmailed them into having sex with them, and that's why she's calling it rape, but we'll get there. Wait a minute, so... She says this, that she posts no evidence of this, but <clears throat> let me show you something. Let me show you a, a juicy little tidbit. Oh, she changed her profile pic. So, we're just going to scroll on down here. We're going to see a beautiful thing, a very... A very, very beautiful thing. It's so gorgeous. So, uh, we're gonna see this in this video here, but for now, uh, we're not gonna see it. But here's the dealio. This is something that came out uh, after she started posting on Twitter. She said, damn, he mad. As far as I know, this is implied that this is not you know what she's saying in the live stream uh you know where she says oh uh it's because it's they're accusing me of blackmailing and rape and all that but you know if they're accusing you of that and then you're only just firing back with this like you're only coming out with it because they're shooting shit at your face like is there validity validity is there merit to it and that's what I'm starting to think. Because Onision only just posted, like only DM'd her, this very long thing after, as far as I can tell, after the fact. She started going insane on Twitter, showing her hickey, a few screenshots, and making accusations after accusations. That meme should not, you don't have the right for that meme yet. Me with receipts, Greg. Mm -mm -mm. Not yet, lady. Give more evidence and maybe you'll earn it. You'll need to earn that shit. Get to that a bit later. Why are you exposing them now? Because this is bullshit and I'm getting harassed and told that I raped them. Oh my Literally, god. Literally, that is the- and, Kay, and Casey ever decides to come out about it. He's gonna try he to do to you. That's what he's saying to me. He's saying that I raped them. Now this next clip is one of the more important parts. Because this clip, uh, it's discussing the legal guardianship. So there's been a lot of talk as to whether Kai or Onision were Sarah's legal guardians or not. That's been a subject of debate for quite a while. There have been conflicting statements made on both sides about that in the past. Now in this clip I'm about to show you, Sarah says that Kai specifically had power of attorney over her, which meant essentially she was kind of her guardian. But this extra added layer of whether they were her guardian or not seems to make it a little bit... Oh shit, I've watched this video so many times that I just noticed. <laughs> His Xbox is right next to his computer. And I, a first generation Xbox One. That's hilarious. I have an S. More wrong in a lot of people's eyes. They're asking about like the legal guardianship thing that was spoken about. Hmm. Okay, so 
basically Kai had power of attorney over me. It was no surprise. It was like my mom's it was thing. Kai had like Here's a thing that kinda doesn't make sense to me. If Onision is the child groomer and he's trying to be manipulative manipulative. Like sure, he already has control over Ladybot, but wouldn't he want full control over those he's watching over? Wouldn't he be the power of attorney? Like he's old he's the oldest one in the house. Ladybot is an adult, and she can have power of power of attorney. But it make doesn't make too much sense to me that Greg didn't try to do that. If uh he's you know, if he's doing what uh you know what she's saying that he's doing. The thing about child groomers is that they try to, like, they try to block you off. Jaden Animations, <clears throat> uh, that, like, okay, I'm trying to remember, I think her name's Taymations, like, both Jaden Animations and Taymations, if I got the second person's name right, uh, made good videos on manipulation and child grooming, because, uh, Taymations actually went through child grooming, as far as I know. I don't know if it's true, but I'm just going to roll with it. For, uh, just for the sake of this video. Because it makes sense. Uh, on terms of like how child grooming goes. Uh, he tried to insult her, tried, and all of that. And I, I would actually just highly recommend watching those videos. They'll be linked in the, script, in the description if I can find them again. Because I don't act actively watch Taymations. She's not exactly my thing. But, uh, Jayden Animations on uh, manipulation is also a good thing. Like, for instance, uh, actually, I'm not going to explain, I'm just going to throw a click because I can actually find that. <laughs> but point being, this is a bit off. Guardianship or something. No. He, he was responsible for me, basically. Now, the next clip is Sarah explaining why Onision claims that she was blackmailing him. Basically what happened was Onision brought up an NDA, asked her to sign it, and she said, well, if I'm going to be signing an NDA, then I want to have done something with you guys to make it worth signing the NDA for, or else wh why am I signing it? I don't know anything that I need to be quiet about. She then clarifies that this was a joke, but Greg didn't take it as a joke, and that is why he then said that apparently she blackmailed them into having sex with her, which is why he labeled it as her raping them. What does he say that you blackmailed him? Well, we don't know the tone. We don't know that, and we need... I know for a fact... I don't doubt for a fact that this was a verbal thing. So this shouldn't be brought up. Not to mention, her behavior is more confident than what she says her behavior was in... Uh, while the relationship was going on. Like, uh, she's a, she seems like to have, like, barriers in her head, like actual physical barriers in her brain that would prevent her from actually breaking down, like, the way she does to Onision. Of course, like, those that you love can definitely break down your barriers the easiest, and that could be the explanation, and I'll take that as the explanation. It's definitely reasonable to believe, uh, to, to believe that. It's just like, no, that, and this is the first, I didn't know she existed until this drama, so I don't know if this is how she always acted, or if this was a changed thing. Again, a lot of things just don't add up to me. We, uh, so basically the NDA or whatever, like, he brought it up and I was like, I don't really want to do it. And he's like, oh, yeah, we're, we're just having everybody sign one. And I was like, okay, well, haha. Uh, well, I want a clause in there that says, like, if I, like, sign, I want something I'm actually signing for, like, you know, I basically was like, oh, you know, only if we do stuff will I sign the papers. <laughs> it was a fucking joke! Sarah then is asked if Kai has contacted her. She says one time, but she didn't answer the call, but she says it could have been Greg because Greg has been known to call people using Kai's phone. Uh, somebody asked if Kai has contacted you since that. Called me once. Since what? Since I've been... Yes. Uh, they weren't specific. <laughs> yeah. They just said, uh... has Kai contacted you? 
Yeah, one one phone call. It might have just been Greg off of Kaiser's phone though, because that happens a lot. Sarah then confirms in one of the more key points here. Don't doubt I don't doubt the phone thing. It sounds like an Onision thing to do. That she was only dating Greg. Not Kai. Also, um, a, a lot of people are like asking the dynamic of the relationship. If you were just dating uh, Kai, or just dating Greg, or if you were dating both of them, or what the situation was. Um, yeah, I was just dating Greg. Sarah then reinforces that she never kissed or did anything sexual with either of them while under the age of 18. Lainey, do more than just make out with you. When did you guys first kiss? And did you kiss Greg when you were underage? So three questions in one. I didn't kiss. Uh, as far as like, I don't know about them other questions. That's. This is just a guess, and this is me talking about my ass. But what? In, okay, like it. <clears throat> a what? In the groomer give like some sort of uh, physical reward for obeying or something? I don't know. Like I don't know. It sounds uncharacteristic to me. I don't know. If someone's actually been legitimately groomed before, uh, you're feel free to come, uh, you know, tell me in the comments. I will definitely uh, be open to hear your stories of uh, grooming and then try to apply uh, some reasoning to this situation. As I, Greg definitely is pushy. He is forceful, and he'll try to get what he wants. But also, he's a giant pussy. Like I seen him in a debate, he's he, he acts like a giant crybaby. So it's it's a strange thing. Like not what just I know he sounds strange, and this doesn't feel right to me. Again, down below if you have a you know any information that I could apply to the situation. That's a lot. Or, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Don't answer Kai. anything you're not comfortable with. Yeah. Sarah's then asked, why did you want to be with Greg? I thought you liked Kai. And in response to that, Sarah says she always viewed them as a package sort of deal. She thought that if you get one, you get the other. Someone asked, did you really even want to be with Greg? I thought that you liked Kai. I guess simple answer is like, yeah, I, I wanted to be with Greg too. It was like... I didn't view them as like a one person, Wait but like a sort of like a package. Sarah's then asked about if Kai tattles if she wants someone kicked out of the house, but Sarah says that everyone tattles if they want people get they tattle about all sorts of things, and Sarah says she was very guilty of that in her time there. Does Kai tattle if he wants someone to get removed by Greg? <sighs> tattle. Oh yeah, no, I mean. We all did, though. Like, I did. I tattled like a motherfucker. Zero then right. says in a very, very important snippet here that they started talking about perhaps pursuing some sort of relationship a month before her 18th birthday. Somebody said, how long after you turned 18 did y'all pursue a relationship? So, like, Well, dates, talk of it started, like, a month before I turned Sarah then said Talking that is Kai fine. was jealous of Sarah and Onision. Somebody's asking if Kai was jealous about you and Greg, but... Yeah. Now this next clip is very important as well, and this kind of shows you the dynamic that Sarah had with Onision and with Kai going into this house. Basically, she says that when, before she moved in, she was in her car crying, she had tears, and she called up Kai about her situation because she was in such a terrible living situation. And that's when Kai said she would speak to Greg about letting her move in. So I think that's very important to note, and I think it's very important to remember when you connect this to the whole... You okay, my man? You're touch... You're awfully itchy today. Like, grooming thing, because Sarah was obviously someone who was vulnerable and she is then taken in by these much older people. Remember, Greg's in his theories. Taken in by these older people, one of them she's a fan of, taken into their house, then around their kids, around their weird relationship with Billy and all that other stuff, and then eventually she enters a relationship with Greg. So I think that's very important to remember. I, I, 
basically texted Kai from my car, like crying one night. He was like, oh my gosh, like all this stuff's happening. Kai was like, oh, I'm seriously talking to Greg about you living here. It was because of my situation. Sarah is then asked if Greg was mean to her. Again, I'm just noting every time where Kai is the one that takes the action. This is legit just Kai accusations of grooming by victim Sarah. Onision has little to do with this. She's like trying to put all the blame on Onision, but yet she barely talks about like uh, Onision, you know, being either abusive or for being uh, overly kind to seemingly get something out of her. Like he was mean at first and then forceful or whatever. Like th there's no patterns here that really resemble anything. Like, Kai is the one that brought her in. Like, she start, she, she texted them, not texted, she tweeted at them at the age of 13. Then, uh, eventually, uh, when she turned, at some point when she turned 14, uh, her and Kai started talking, se having sexual conversations. Her words, not mine. And <clears throat> at the age of 16, they, there was no point where they stopped co uh, having conversations. But, uh, they, she starts to, uh, you know, the falling out, we just heard it. She has a falling out with her parents, and Kai is the one that says, I'm going to talk to Craig about you living with us. And, of course, she gets, you know, she gets to wherever they are right now, uh, or at that time. Pretty sure they moved a few times between that time, actually. So, there's more things going against Kai than Gregory, it just keeps stacking and stacking. Like Everything here is just like normal Greg behavior in terms of he's lining up with his opinions and some, and uh, him being his normal ab abusive retarded self. Like I see, I do see problems with his behavior, it's just that I don't, I don't see the same thing you're seeing. Is this Onis Onision? Like, yeah, he's done creepy shit before. Uh, like, uh, rating, I don't know if he still does it, he rates pr practically children. They're not really children, they're like, uh, pre-teens to teens on their bodies. I remember watching one video of that a while ago, it, it was exactly that. And a few of them in that video were not uh, safe, safe for work dress, I should say. Some were please, some were please, please get me daddy dressed. So it's like no one's going to doubt this. I don't doubt that Gray is a child groomer. It's just that I can't believe it when the evidence is so small. It's just that way, you know. Her or not, she says Greg was very nice the first time she met him, but she says after that, when she moved in, he started to become quite mean to her. And then he, she said she even says he was very mean to her. Uh, was he mean to you? <laughs> uh, no, he was mean to me. Like the first time I ever met him was in September 2016. He was nice to me that trip. Um. But then after I moved in with them, after the whole thing with Billy happened, and I was, uh, he was mean. All right, there we got, we got the so light switch the right there. Sarah talking about those accusations that came out from Iowa back in January. But is this continuous? Sarah posted a video in defense of Kai and Onision, saying that essentially nothing had happened and that Isla wasn't telling the truth. And she is now asked in this next clip that I'm about to show you if she was asked to do that by Onision, and essentially she says, yeah, Onision pressured her into doing that. Um, somebody asked if they forced you to make that video that said nothing happened. Well, that's interesting. That's an interesting question. <laughs> um, nobody, nobody held a gun up to my head because I was, I was here, I was at my house. Um, but yeah, he basically was like calling me 
note that with all the other questions she's answered so far in this video, she has not touched her body at all. Uh, she has looked away. She has looked away from the camera several times, but it's the first time she's touched herself and actively looking away from the camera. This is ten, tends to be the signs of deception. But we're just going to see through the rest of the clip and see if it's enough touching and looking away for me to actually say it's deception. Oh. Oh God! Is it? I, is that? Is that my end? Uh, but. Yeah, he basically mm -hmm. was like playing with the hair. I think she's playing with the hair. And being like, oh, I need a statement from you, like, it would help out Kai, like, all the stuff. And I was like, okay, well, do you think that's really what Kai wants? Like, I don't know. Looks away again. Um, yeah, but he was, he was like, he called me and he was like, I, I think you're misunderstanding. I don't want, um, I don't want a statement or whatever. All I want is a video of you stating, and he gave me like a list of things, and mm -hmm. he was like, "That's like all I want, just like quick to the point, whatever." The next clip is a bit off topic from the rest of the stuff we've been going over, but Sarah is asked why Omision and Kai changed their legal names, and in response to that, Sarah says it's because they don't want to be googling their names and having lots of bad things coming up, so they changed their names so that things wouldn't be as bad when you search for them. Do you know why they changed their legal names? That's... That's not necessarily a bad thing. After all, this is recent, so the names would come up, this would come up with their names right now. So unless they change their names again, like, it wouldn't exactly change anything, because the law has their names. They have all it documented. Just let me go down for a minute. i just been wondering this the whole time. Fucking called it. Every Onision controversy ever. I'm sorry, is this like, everything's starting to sound like that video? Actually, I'm going to open that up in a new tab. I'm going to see what time that came out. So, I'm going to look, I'm going to look at that. I just wonder. I want to see the date. Give me the date. It was this year. Okay. Uh, it sounds like everything. Okay, nothing mentions Sarah. This just sounds so similar. It's come up a lot. To try and get I, people to not have. Is she? It's like she's reading from things, a script because it sounds like. like not have things pop up her. Like her uh, now, this next clip every takes every things video. to a huge new level. This is crazy. Sarah claims that Kai and her spoke romantically, had romantic conversations when Sarah was only 15 years old. She then goes on to say that there was one time where Kai was upset about something to do with Billy and Greg said to her to try and reassure her, it's okay, we can just wait for Sarah. We can wait for Sarah to be 18. And I'm just gonna throw something out there really quick. Mm -hmm. But Kai and I romantically talked when I was 15 years old. Yeah, uh, Kai. Oh no, she said romantic, no, man. <laughs> I was about to go, what the fuck? Billy. Greg reassured him that it would be okay because they could just date me when I was 18. Why don't we just wait for Sarah? Why don't we just wait for Sarah? Why don't we wait for Sarah? Kai, so on that box up romantic conversations. According to you, Greg waited a bit longer for to talk about romance. But Kai was going straight into it. She she started talking to you sexually at the age of 14, and at the age of 15, she started talking about going into a relationship. And then at the age of 16, she brings you into her home. Why is everything getting so much more suspect on Kai? Sarah is then asked if Greg supports Kai or Lainey transitioning from female to male. And in response, Sarah says that Greg has made it clear that he would be more comfortable with Kai having top surgery if he still had a pair of boobs around. He's asking I was if Greg supports Kai's transition. So, yeah, basically, I was on the phone with Kai, and Kai was like, oh, not to make you feel bad or anything, or, like, we're just using you for this, but 
Uh, Greg said he would be more comfortable with me getting top surgery if he had, basically if he had a pair of boobs in the picture. Sarah is then asked if Greg still obsesses thing, over Billy, away. which she says yes. Does he still obsess over Billy? Of course she is yes. on the couch sitting sideways. Yes. So I have myself now the final clip I'm going more to promptly play for comfortable you with the camera. Sarah saying that when she was 16, she went there and she had a conversation in Lucian's basement with him, and she says that she was quite upset because she was kind of maybe jealous looking at Onision Billy and Kai together, and Onision reassured her by saying it's not a triangle. You mean a lot to Kai. It's more like a square. When I was 16, I went there for the first time ever in September. I took me down to the basement because I was because I was upset because we were. I'm trying to think about the square comment. I don't know. I think love triangles are always described as the bad thing. So a love square is a bit worse because there is four of you now. Yeah, there's definitely four of you. So it is truly a love square, and you're all having competition for each other's attention. We were at the movie theater, and they were all like cuddling together, and I saw like, like, I was just, I was just weirded out. I was, you know, I was hurt, and yeah. And he talked to me, and he was like, "Oh, it's okay. Like, you don't have to be." Because he saw that I was getting upset, and Billy and Kai didn't. He was like, "Are you gonna get upset or whatever?" And he, so he took me back to the house and we talked and he was like, oh, well, it's not a, it's not a triangle. You're very important to Kai, like you're, you know, the square. square. It's not a triangle, it's a square. Now those are all the clips I'm going to be showing you. I do encourage you I think she looked away less on that one, so I think she's not trying, I think that one has less, there's no deception on that question. She probably didn't get hurt by that comment. But I don't think in that situation Onision actually did not actually meant to hurt or Kai because like he's the one that says Kai you're very important to Kai and and Kai just didn't notice your feelings but Billy did I was like who's Billy it was an hour and 45 minutes long, so it was a long thing, and it, uh, I definitely couldn't have fit everything into this single video. This video is going to be long enough. To... Wait, wait. If this video gets enough views, can you guys do me a favor and just make this joke hashtag? Hashtag who's Billy? <laughs> Please. There's like so many Billies. Like we got, uh, I think Jim, I think Jim, also known as Mr. Medicare, was called Billy at one point. And then, like, I think it's kind of funny <laughs> that I got the image of Mr. Medicare from the Oh god. That's, that's a good one. Please someone make art of that. <laughs> I want to see it now. As it is. There are a bunch of copies of this stream around on YouTube if you just do a quick search. I'm also going to try and link one of them in the description down below for you all to check out. But yeah, overall, if you ask me, this is uh, very, very concerning. Again, this is all alleged. There is no concrete proof. We've not seen any screenshots that confirm there was an actual relationship. But there is evidence to suggest that Onision was open to the relationship. For example, the clip I played for you earlier when he said... Well, this is where he ends, but uh, last thing before he gets to the next video. Being open to a relationship doesn't mean uh, you're going to pursue it. It's a temptation. But you did pursue it eventually. But thank you, Mr. Past Me uh, Medium Rare. We're going to more current Medium Rare. Uh, that's a few days old because it's... Yeah, it's 11th. I forgot it's 11th. And Kai. Late last night, Sarah started. Boop. My Rewind name is Drag it. Reynolds, and welcome back to Medium Rare. And Sarah has doubled down on her accusations against Onision and Kai. Late last night, Sarah started posting a bunch of tweets, dropping text messages between her and Onision, and lots of other alleged information. And prior to most of this rant she went on last night, she had been posting some stuff earlier in the day. Now, if you're not aware of what's going on, then this is the time where I would recommend you check out my previous video on this subject, where I broke down the accusations in the live stream that Sarah did on this subject. But now what we're going to do is we're just basically going to dive into these tweets. Just real quick, 
<clears throat> his Twitter, his Instagram, blah, 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 blah. This is all him. But there's no citations for Twitter, like no direct Twitter links. There's no Google Docs leading uh, that, you know, that show. Uh, wait, I said Google Docs, Google, Google Drive link that show, you know, her tweets, uh, you know, it's just screen, you know, just saved or screenshotted. But in this one, he gives one citation, which is Sarah's live stream, which is legit the only evidence he used. Cause like, there's like, uh, what? Onision's live stream, Kai's live stream, and uh, one message. Of course, it would have been helpful to leak to those live streams. Of course, it was this one clip, but whatever. And see what she's been saying about Onision and Kai. Now, before I get too much into this Sarah stuff, I do want to encourage you to stick around until the end of the video because I will be releasing my teaser for my upcoming documentary about real stream news and that is something you're not going to want to miss because this guy I believe is perhaps almost just as much of a scumbag as Onision is so stick around to the end of the video to see the official teaser for that. So yesterday she posted this tweet, she leaked this message, it was an email and she claims it was from Onision but she says it was from a couple of months back. I just want to point something out. This is stupid. I loved making love to both of you. I loved seeing you satisfy Kai. I loved making out with you while effing Kai. I loved you being around when you guys weren't fighting. Where is this? Jumping in here, this is Greg. Um... Is this as a file name? Eating. Personally, I'd love to do countless things with both of you both, and that is where it cuts off. Later, she was posting, that say whatever chat? you want and about the name me, is jumping in here, and this she is then Greg. said, I don't have to rely on my messed up memory. I have every single text since I was 14 still saved. That's where this thing kind of gets, kind of falls apart. You see, I don't feel like I have to show much of this stuff. I just want to show you some things to make you laugh. As I already discussed, like, uh, this here. This, like, you heard what it was, kinda, because it's just about, this is just great coming back about, oh, you blackmailed us, you, you raped us, you also abused our child. So, it's just, you know, that's Greg's accusation against her accusation. No, so no one's gonna listen to that. And I ain't gonna listen to it either until he shows evidence. But, oh, let's just get back here, I think it's... Seon, but she says it was from a couple of months making out to do you want about me only Seon, bring it. She then said, I don't Ooh. have to rely on my messed up posted a text Can... message that was oh, no, apparently this is more boring from Onision. Onision. Yeah. And she said, you're pathetic at Onision in the text read, I want you to know I have never seen Kai hurt this much. The damage you did, I can't believe you would hurt Kai and the kids like this. What you did for everyone in the house. I can't believe you are only doing this because I refuse to make out with you in the theatre and refuse to sleep with you. You are hurting Kai and the kids you said you cared about because we rejected you. So I think that's Gregory. I think. Or this is Billy. It could be, could be either one, but she's saying you're pathetic and she's at, at Onision. But why is this blocked out? Like, no, this is the only screenshot that's blocked out. And the other one that she could block out. Uh, that definitely showed uh, Greg's face. Move on. Stop hurting innocent people. Sarah then said, just wait until wait I get it. off work. You'd oh, play a little game with me. He's not going to say pussy, but you at home, I, I just want to see if you guys laugh at this. At the end of only these screenshots coming up, uh, that she, well, yes, yeah, screen, screenshots that he made of uh, her tweets, just scream the word pussy at the end of each sentence. Do not scare me. I did cocaine. Use it against me. Greg and I F while Kai was in New Mexico. Use it against me. I've sold my prescription before. 
use it against me. And that's what's gonna get you in this lever. Most likely. Considering that some states do not have, uh, free. well actually, some states don't have like, quote unquote forgiveness laws, I guess you could say. Or if you been away long enough where your prison sentence would already be up, like you already been in hiding, it would probably go away. Or if it's you've been in holding long enough that you already practically sent out your uh, sit, set out your sentence, that they just go whatever. But no, but no, this is something where you literally just shot yourself in the foot, Sarah. You're shooting yourself right there. The bullet's in your foot. Because now. You admitted this on Twitter, and if the police find out who you are, which they probably will, uh, they can th they can put you behind bars, and this whole thing goes away. It just completely disappears. Because uh, criminal convictions on this are a bit fast, and you actually made a confession on Twitter. <laughs> this is funny. Like, okay, she did cocaine. Most, I don't know about every state, but my state uh, does a thing where if you did a drug and you don't do it anymore, like you completely stopped, it's proven that you stopped, rehab clears you, uh, you are completely, you do not get put behind bars. But this, this is what you're getting in the slammer for. <laughs> no doubt. Greg and Kai let me have alcohol. Kai sent me a... I suppose I know she was underage at that time, so that is illegal. But that may end up in a justifying, or they will go to jail. It's like, mm. even then, she has to prove that that actually happened. We we can't prove it that it happened, so it's an accusation that can't that goes nowhere. <laughs> Selfie with his genitalia out while I was underage. Can I have that, please? I like knowing other men's dick size. Please give that to me. Same thing with Kai, please. If you got that. Please, please try me. Kai told me exactly how big Greg's dick is when I was 14. Don't matter. Then she leaked some more text saying here, blue is Kai, gray is Greg. So Kai says, Oh, this isn't even her. This is a conversation between Kai and Greg. I thought we agreed that using virginity as a pawn was wrong, but now that it suits you, you want to resort to that. Greg responds, it's a big deal. Kai responds, and she lost it to you, not me. Greg responds, virginity does matter. Then Kai responds, so does seven years of a relationship, but we're forgetting about that. And no, you did threaten our relationship. And then Greg responds, so I just ignore you taking a girl's virginity, then treating her like she's dead to you because she got jealous, then doubling down on treating her like she is dead when she tries to shut herself off so she can't be hurt. Sarah then tweeted, he really tried it with the wrong one. And That's me banging my head on the desk. If you couldn't tell, that's another one. Because now we have Greg saying that Kai is doing some sketchy shit. There's so there's more guns pointing at it, and I need to look back at the video again to make sure she wasn't lying about Kai. <laughs> because she's saying she's shooting more bullets, more direct bullets at Kai that actually matter than Greg. There's more. There's like a lot of. Like, she's pointing a lot of her hate at Greg, but it seems like Kai is the abuser. Like, she's the groomer. Because, like, she's done all the actions. She has been proven to lie within the first few seconds of this drama, practically. So... <laughs> like, this is hilarious and annoying. And... The more... Like, looking over this so many times... I, it's looking more and more to me like Sarah's lying. Like, come the fuck on. Then I want to believe this. Then she posted image of herself with a hickey on her neck, and she said, The hickey Greg gave me on January 17th, 2019. Kai smoked weed. 
this one is for Billy. Y'all should see the essay he sent me, lol. And then it seemed like she went on to... Oh, about that when the tweets so stop saying, use it against me, that's when you can stop text. saying pussy. Damn, he'd be mad. That. Apparently these texts are from Onision, and they read, 1. You blackmailed us, which is illegal in the way you did. 2. You and Billy both publicly and privately admitted you, Sarah, were never groomed. We have the receipts. See, the problem here is that I don't know for sure if this is after uh, she started tweeting a bunch of shit or before, like she said that Onision did claim, but I thought that would have been verbal and not text because Onision will tend to not just text someone when it comes to these things and she says like she said there every text since she was 14 that's a lot of text messages that's a lot of things to screen share I meant s screenshot so we should have had a, a fucking flood we should have had like a flood of Kai just going into sexual conversations a flood of Craig going into sexual conversations and, and text because we have two years maybe don't we don't know if it's a full two years maybe just a year and a half or whatever of them completely just talking on online Kai talking to her in, in a sexual manner of the age of 14 yeah at age of 14 then uh, talking about relationships at the age of 15 oh yeah it would be two years but not and then at 16, they move in. Bada bing, bada boom. I shoot a mushroom. What the fuck is with this shit? Three, you raped Kai, not only with the crime of sexual extortion, look it up, but that's exactly what you did, <coughs> but also raped Kai when he flirted with you as an adult from far, but said he was uncomfortable repeatedly to you in person. You knew he was uncomfortable and did what you did anyway. You forced him. You said you hated Ayala for saying she wanted to have sex with you when you were a minor. We all hated her, but clearly you were dishonest, all because you would do anything to sleep with Kai again, even you see, I, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you one of the reasons why I think Kai is most likely to be this, if the accusations are even remotely true when it comes to either Onision or Kai, probably most likely Kai, maybe, even then, I doubt it, kinda. Uh, the reason why is because, like, Kai has been through Onision's abuse for years, and when she saw someone that is clearly weaker to her, and now that she has a penis, that, so she is a he. She goes up to this girl, and now she, and now he, sorry, keep misgendering. Now, uh, Kai can finally feel up. Like Kai is, uh, at least comparatively, more soft. Like she's, you know, she's not tough acting like Sarah. So. It's kind of more believable to me that Kai would actually want something that would help her cope with the abuse. Because if I remember correctly, like, you know, uh, Greg recorded her having, a, I think it was, a, yeah, a stroke on camera, having a, a, a fucking meltdown on camera. Like, she's been through a lot of Greg's abuse. And now she has the opportunity with Sarah uh, to essentially use her as an outlet. But at the same time, uh, that's also could, could be very wrong. And it could be that just Sarah is using, using them essentially, trying to take them down before they take her down. Because she, did, she sold prescription drugs. She broke an NDA. She blackmailed them illegally. And they're accusing her of child abuse. They're accusing her of rape. So everything gets thro thrown into this little trash can here. And that trash can says, I'm fucked. So she's trying to fuck them in the ass. But the thing is that I'm not going to have it. 
unless you have evidence. You can fuck all you want, but I am not gonna let you go in there without a condom. We all need condoms. Even without his consent, you joined Actually, the Actually, why not press? Is any more interesting screenshots that are important to this video? Because if not, uh, we, we can just skip to the Blair White video. Was not a screenshot, claim. You begging you to forgive me. I bet that made you feel powerful. Do you feel powerful now? So since every time I was with Kai, Greg was also involved, does this mean Greg is an accomplice to the multiple rapes of his own husband? Use my past traumas and abuse against me, Onision. I double dog dare you. One time when I was 16, Greg made me feel so bad about being a virgin that I started crying. Then she ended off her tweets saying, Y'all don't even know yet, LMAO, I'm gonna keyword myself. Don't worry guys, please, I'm not gonna- No. Wait, actually, was there a time? No. See, they both say two hours. He screenshotted these on the same day. So if it was a hour difference, it would say it. These are pretty close to each other. And it sounds like it's just done for attention. In my head. Because if you were thinking about K uh, trying to KMS, then... Huh? Wouldn't you put down the Twitter and then go straight for the news because it could just be you joking but at the same time you could just be asking for attention because this is the same day that you just uh, splurged all of this onto the internet you just splurged it it's not it's not anything it's just a bunch of goo everywhere we're trying to sit through it to see if there's anything solid that we can grab but there's nothing, it's a school. So, this drama is pointless. The last thing she tweeted myself. Is Don't worry, that. guys. She, please, that's I'm the last thing she myself. tweeted just gonna go for the night. And the last of us is just him giving his final thoughts. Uh, and then him being more definitive about this is just allegations. He's gonna hold his opinion. Because now that he opened up the floodgates. Now that he opened it up, we gotta deal with it, and I and we're gonna have to watch it closely. Watch both of these people, either lie or tell the truth, and we have to make up our own decision. Because these two people are not gonna go to court for this. None of them are. No one's going to court. Not at all. I I don't think it's gonna happen. And that's the damn shame. Because no one goes to court. Nothing gets proven. This drama's pointless. Nothing happens. Nothing is going to happen. Alright. So now, we're finally at Blair White. The better video of the, th of the, two, of the three. You guys have this concept of grooming, right? But that requires you have s with somebody right after they turn 18. We had already had romantic conversations and talks well, we... um, when I was 15. I said that something has happened with her or I cuddled in bed with her, that none of- Now, full disclosure, Blair White has a bias towards Onision. I've watched her uh, other videos. So, her covering this, uh, yeah, clearly there's a bias. And there's more focus on Onision. Because that's what she wants. Happened. She wants to focus on Onision and not Never. fuck Ladybot over. Because, I? in my opinion, I think Sarah actually still wants to fuck uh, Ladybot. She's trying to downplay Ladybot's involvement and increase the role of Greg. Because, like, she says everything that Greg's do Greg does so casually. And, um, no, she says everything that Ladybot does so casually that uh, and then puts Greg up so high on the oh my fucking god scale uh, that people will pay more attention to Greg and not Ladybot's involvement so it's Ladybot not Ladybot we got a Ladybot somewhere else in bed oh boy I don't hope she was involved in this so yeah essentially she's trying to downplay her involvement while 
because she want she I think she still wants to smash. And then just kill Onision. <laughs> and then the two of them can just be together forever, I guess. It's a theory. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about someone that I truly, with every bit of my soul, never wanted to talk about again by the name of Onision. Or as I call him, the pimple on the butt of YouTube. He's basically the roach infestation that YouTube wants to do nothing about. You know, they won't even call an exterminator for a quote. You know what I mean? They won't do anything about it. And a lot of you guys, if you're new on this channel, which, hi, if you're new, may not know about my history with this YouTuber. I've debated this YouTuber over all of the allegations of predatory and inappropriate behavior with underage girls, for remember, which there's so. probably like hundreds of accusations at this point. Um, it goes back years. So just some of the predatory actions that come to mind in the past when it comes to Greg, if my memory is suiting me correctly, which I know it is, um, Greg was collecting pictures of underage girls in their underwear on his website in the past. Greg began dating his wife, who is now, I guess, his husband because she transitioned. Um, she can't write this. When his partner was underage and actually traveled across state lines to find states where it was legal to be intimate with them uh, to avoid getting in trouble with the law. I guess there are accusations of him putting girls in his basement against their will. Like, this is basically the R. Kelly of YouTube. That's what you should be getting out of this. But as of late, there's a lot of accusations and things going on with Anision that have made their way onto my timeline. And a lot of you guys want me to talk about it and um, I'm totally down to talk about it. So in this video, I'm going to go over the accusations of grooming of underage girls by Onision, as well as interviewing a victim, an alleged victim. And because I have received threats of legal action and cease and desist letters for every single video I've done in the past few months, no, I'm not kidding and no, I'm not exaggerating. I'm going to make a disclaimer that everything in this video is alleged, all allegedly, and you are free to make up your own mind against all these public allegations. From this girl named Sarah. Sarah has recently blasted Onision and Onision's wife, who is now the husband, mm -hmm. Kai, uh, on Twitter and on social media, saying that she was groomed by them from the age of 14. And I do want to think that's a joke, but it's hilarious. Because it's kind of funny, but also concerning. Because the more you look at it, it kind of actually does look like Lainey Bot is grooming. Thought this was my, was me for a second. We're twins as fuck. <clears throat> Response: I'm grooming you nicely. Hell yeah, baby. Until she ultimately was in an intimate relationship with them four days after she turned 18. Sarah was a fan and began tweeting Onision and his wife Lainey, who now goes by the name Kai, when she was only 13. Eventually, Onision and then Laneybot took notice of this and became friends with Sarah when she was only 14 years old and began texting inappropriate things, had a very inappropriate friendship. These are both adults, keep in mind, becoming friends online and over text with this young girl. Sarah alleges that when she was underage, she exchanged inappropriate graphic self-images with Kai. Sarah alleges that Kai described Onision's private parts to her at the age of 14. And here's where things get even more messed up. At the age of 16, after having an inappropriate, friendly relationship over text with Kai and Greg, Sarah actually moved in with them. Sarah was going through personal family issues that led her to confide in Kai and Greg, and shortly after, Kai and Greg decided that they would let Sarah move in at 16. Sarah then, of course, lived with them, began appearing in YouTube videos with them, and speculation arose as to what exactly was going on with this underage girl living with this adult couple. Sarah now says that this was a predatory relationship in which she was groomed to eventually become intimate with them once she turned 18. So is it illegal? Technically, no. Is it creepy, manipulative, disturbing, and predatory to take a girl who is 15, 16 years old, going through family troubles, move them in, and then groom them from that age until 18, and then be intimate with them four days after she turns 18? Yes, absolutely. They discussed now it let's and take a look at the interview I did with Sarah just this morning. How old were you when you first started tweeting Onision and Onision at the time wife, Lainey? Um, I was, well, when I started tweeting them, I was 13. So you were a fan of them. Like that was the relationship, like you being a fan of them. I was like the biggest fan. <laughs> Okay, so clearly already there's like a power dynamic there, right? Like it's, you know, someone, they're adults, 
they are internet famous, you are fan and you are minor. So already power dynamic established. Yeah, so uh, he, we were tweeting back and forth and then he DM'd me, hey, how old are you? And I said, uh, hey, Lainey, I'm 14. And he said, oh, you look older. Uh, he sent me a message that said, I'm about to delete this app. Here's my phone number. And he gave me his phone number. And at this time I was 14. Were there ever any inappropriate text messages sent from Kai, who again is Onision's partner to you? Yeah, we would make like sexual jokes to each other. We would joke about like, we would, you know, make jokes about us being together. But he also, he would send me like pictures of, of like him without the top on. Basically Kai was taking selfies and he sent me a few of the selfies and one of them he didn't have any bottoms on, but he had a shirt on. And one of them, like his entire, like private was in the picture. There was at least one picture that I had sent of me when I was 15, uh, topless, to tie. Actually, I'm gonna do this real quick, just because I think it'd be funny. And if I actually get what I'm asking, I will love everything. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know which one to talk to. I think this is the one to talk to because he's verified. His tweets are protected. No. Well, I will follow. You have to request... Wait, 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 wait. I forgot. I forgot. DM me on for act. Oh, never mind. Cancel. I forgot. This was a thing a while ago. This isn't protecting him. So, a while ago, Onision protected his. I don't know how long this ago this was. But Onision protected his Twitter, and now it's a Patreon goal to access his Twitter. Fucking hell. <laughs> What I was thinking about doing was just going up to him and asking. Uh, I was just gonna straight up ask, "Hey, Onision, can I get a nude?" Wow. How did you go from that to at the age of sixteen living with that? So we had been friends since I was fourteen. Um, I was going through a lot and. We had joked about me living there, but one night uh, after some really not so great stuff went down, I was outside crying, uh, texting my best friend, Kai, and he said that he was seriously going to talk to Greg about me living there. And I was, at first I was just shocked. Like I sat there like, what, what do you mean? And I was like, wait, really? And he was like, yeah, it hurts to say. I was like, yeah. You're gonna taste my thundercock. That's right, little girl. You're gonna taste my thundercock. And Greg will watch in the background as I groom you slowly. I hate this, but I do feel. I feel like they knew what they were doing. Yeah. I would. I would. I think anyone watching this. Sorry, I think anyone watching this definitely probably feels the same, that there's really no reason to move a teenager in with you or to send the kind of messages they sent and then yeah, I conveniently, agree. coincidentally, be intimate with you after you turn 18. And I mean, we had already had romantic conversations and talks um, when I was 15. And I know that in the video that he posted yeah, online, that uh, I up, basically up, up. was like, oh, nothing is going on, guys. Um, but he wanted me to make that video, and he... Wait a minute, wait a minute, though. You said Laney said it was it started at 15. You didn't mean, you didn't say both. It said lady, if I remember correctly. I could get that wrong. Click rewind, and uh, put a gif of me stopping, slapping... Just slap me in the face. Just do a gift thing of slapping me in the face if I'm wrong. Like really pressured me into making it, and I really didn't want to. Um, 
I have bloopers from it of me literally like having like a mental breakdown. If you have bloopers, then fucking post the bloopers. We need evidence. I want evidence. We all want the evidence. I don't believe you. Because of lack of evidence. Flood the fucking Twitter with evidence and not allegations. Allegations, I will literally tell you to go fuck yourself. I will tell you to your face. I'm like sobbing because I was just so overwhelmed. Oh my god. It's only like 40 seconds long because he literally gave me like a list of things to say and I just said them and I just like 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 bullet points didn't like tell me exactly what to say but like bullet points of what to like speak about so I just spoke about whatever he wanted me to and then I Looking just off. like stopped it I didn't want to be geez that's so controlling right like to have this adult move you in and then not that she's looking to the camera left. and explain how much inappropriate's going on if you look to the left you're lying and if you look to the right you're telling you're actually trying to remember correctly you're thinking about it it was either look you to the right you're thinking about it or like up is fondly i think down looking down is despair uh yeah i think i got that right but i could be i could get i could get i uh, got that i could have gotten that wrong that just seems really messed up well, and also what would Pretty hurt sure. me a lot is like having to watch him say like oh we don't even hug sarah we don't even do this or that and it's like i'm i'm sitting there like 16 watching this and i'm just like but yes you do like you're you're sitting here and you're blatantly lying and i can't say anything because i don't want to get you in trouble tell me a little bit about the nda that you signed you told me um yeah no blair's looking to the right she has no reason to lie so she's looking to the right she's legitimately thinking what is with this? And you, if you pause on anybody's face, you get hilarious images. <laughs> but either way, she, she's not lying. But she's looking. Yeah, that's to the left. I just double check that she's looking to the left. For me, it's my right because I'm looking straight into the screen. But she's looking to her right, which means she's remem She's actually remembering. She's telling the truth. I'm off camera. Just to get, is this to give you an example? NBA the morning after you were intimate with them for the first time. And no, Blair doesn't yeah. take her eyes off of the he camera that often. And Only I decided she takes that it off everyone in their life needed to sign an NDA and that I was no exception to that. The NDA. But no, while she's talking, her eyes are darting back here a lot. They keep darting. Now I'm okay with. A lot of people move their head back up, but it's. Uh, could be a, a thing. Could not be a thousand percent for me to not do what I'm doing right now. One thing that's important to note is that since Sarah has come forward with these allegations of being groomed from a child to an adult to be in a relationship with them, Onision and Kai have completely denied it. However, Kai was caught in a very interesting, strange lie in which Kai claimed to have never, ever been intimate or touched or cuddled specifically with Sarah. But this if there's a way to make this a meme, was, I'll try to make it into a meme. But someone will probably her, more clever would make a better meme her, out of it. Or I cuddled in bed with her that none of that has ever happened never I'll, like go to sleep good night but that is it for this video you guys make sure you like the video comment i'll be reading every single comment in the comment section make sure you subscribe i know this is not your first time no again no why that why why keyboard why'd you put a w no probably get, yep it got it i don't believe
No. It didn't register it. And I need more. I need more proof. PP is hard and ready, but I don't believe, I don't believe her, I need more proof. No. I hate some, I hate some of the mechanics of this shit. This better not get <laughs> Why is it taking so long to load? Either way, <clears throat> you saw me comment. You see how slow I am. Either way, my final thoughts. Not enough proof for any one of them, exactly, to be shown as a sexual predator. Wendy Bot's actions are really suspect, though. But other than that, nothing. You don't. You can't catch me, boy. You ain't gonna catch me. The uh, defense. Uh, defending Sarah at this moment because nothing that Sarah says comes across to me as uh, she is either being honest or that I can believe her because just she says she has receipts all the way from 14 but we have very little receipts uh, everything I find will be put in the Google Drive that uh, if I leak it but I have to clean out my Google Drive for a bit because I put too much shit in there and I need to find out if I can lock some files. Because some files are personal. I have never used Google Drive before, so this will be a first. I just want to give you guys a way to follow up on the drama. I'll try my best to keep it updated if, uh, if I don't make another video for, for it. None of these people, I think, are bad. They're just misguided. You know? Ooh, let's look at the Patreon if it loaded up. It didn't load up. So, yeah, that's you guys have this that's my opinion. No one. <laughs> These faces are just making me laugh my ass off. Either way, I'd like to thank you, sexy companies, for uh, bearing uh, through this with me. Uh, I know this is absolute hell for you to deal with, but I just really wanted to get this video out. Uh, so things are going to be edited out, but a lot of things are going to be kept as untouched. Probably just going to put some easy to listen to background music to make sure, uh, you know, my pauses aren't exactly that boring. And I hope you guys have a great day. Don't accuse people of rape or at sexual assault allegations, or child grooming, or pedophilia without evidence. And with that, I'm out. Bye!